Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Lex program to recognize and display keywords, numbers and words in a given statement. A keyword may be uh, any uh, programming language. For example, if is a keyword, else is a keyword, printf is a keyword and so on. And then we need to recognize the numbers as well as words and then we need to display them. Now uh, we will start writing the program. We know that uh, any Lex program contains uh, three sections. The first section is uh, called as uh, the definition section, which starts with uh, percentage followed by a curly brace. Here we have to add uh, all the header files as well as uh, any variables are required in our program. In this program, uh, I need only one uh, header file and that is uh, hash include stdio.h. Apart from this, I don't think uh, I, I need anything else. If it is required, we will come back and then we will add uh, the variables as well as the header files. I will close this particular uh, the definition section with the help of a percentage followed by closing parenthesis. Now uh, we need to write the rule section that is the second part of uh, Lex program. Here we need to write a set of rules to recognize keywords, numbers and words here. The rules uh, will be of uh, two parts. The first part is uh, actually the pattern and the second one is the action. Whenever that particular pattern matches, uh, a particular action should be executed here. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, I want to uh, recognize keywords. So the one keyword is uh, if here. Similarly, we can have other keyword like uh, else. Uh, or we can have another keyword like uh, printf and so on. So these are all the keywords. I cannot list out all. I am just writing few keywords here. The same thing can be extended with other uh, the keywords also. Whenever any of these particular keyword is found, we want to execute this particular action. What is that particular action? I want to print uh, that particular keyword here. So within uh, curly brace, uh, we have to write whatever the action we want to execute. So in this case, I want to print. So I'm using a printf statement and then uh, I will uh, use, you can say that uh, percentage yes is, a, you can say that keyword. And then I will close this. Uh, yes means, that is a percentage yes means it's a string. So I have to display the value of a string here. That is nothing but yy text in this case. So whenever there is a uh, uh, input which matches with any of these particular if else or printf the matched content will be present in this particular yy text so that will be displayed here and then i will close this particular the printf statement now i will come back to the second rule that is i have to match uh, numbers here so if i want to match numbers uh, it should be anything in the range of 0 to 9 it may be one or more uh, digits in this case so whenever uh, input matches with this particular rule i want to uh, print uh, that particular uh, matched content as uh, a number so i will write printf within uh, parenthesis again uh, percentage yes here is a number so that is what i will uh, print in this case and then i will close this again i will write yy text so whenever a particular input matches with this particular rule, I will display it as a number in this case. So I think there is a typo here. I will correct it. Now coming back to the third one, I have to match with words. Word is nothing but uh, you can say that a uh, uh, group of uh, 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 can say the letters. So it may be anything in the range of small a to uh, small z or capital A to capital Z in this case. Uh, it may be one or more characters so that's the reason I have to write plus here so if you get one or more uh, uh, letters it may be small case or upper case it is nothing but a word in this case so I have to execute this particular action again I want to display it so I will use a printf statement here and within this particular uh, printf I will write percentage yes is a word here and then I will write yy by text again now I have written three rules. The first rule is for keyword, second rule is for number and the third rule is for word here. Now uh, my input contains anything apart from this. For example, uh, my input contains some spaces, tab, new line and all. Uh, I don't want to do anything here. So that is uh, if it is uh, 
if my input contains anything apart from these uh, keywords numbers or words i don't want to do anything in this case for that reason i will use this last rule that is uh, dot dot will match anything apart from uh, the above thing but it will not match with the new line so that's the reason i will use uh, pipe here and then i will use new line so if uh, none of these three rules matches it will come to this particular last rule that is uh, dot will match with anything uh, apart from new line so that's the reason i have taken a new line here if this is the case i will just write echo here so it will not do anything it will be uh, skipped in this case that is what actually you can say now uh, i have written all the rules i have to close this particular rule section i have started here and then i have closed that particular rule section here now uh, i will go to the main part of the program that is int main within this particular int main i have to first ask user to enter the input so i will write a printf statement here and then uh, uh, i will ask user to enter the input enter the string here which contains uh, keywords numbers as well as words and so on once this particular thing is entered uh, I will pass that particular input to the rule section with the help of yylx function. So whenever I call this uh, yylx function, the input will be passed to this particular rule section and uh, accordingly the input will be processed here. Now this is the main part that is uh, far more than enough here. Once everything is uh, completed, that is all the input is consumed, we will execute something called as uh, yy wrap in this case so i will uh, execute this particular yy wrap here uh, it contains only one statement that is uh, return uh, one in this case that's it so this is how actually we used to write a lex program which can recognize and display keywords numbers and words if uh, anything is there like uh, keyword number and words it will be displayed here uh, apart from these three if anything is there it will be skipped and then in main part uh, that is the third uh, section of flex program we will ask user to enter a string that string will be passed to this particular rule section with the help of uh, yylx once entire input is consumed we execute something called as yy wrap in this case so i will try to save this particular program I have saved this particular program in this particular folder that is lex programs i hope you can see this uh, one uh, which is of uh, l type here so if you want to execute it we need to open the command prompt so here i will type uh, cmd and then i will press enter button i hope you can see this particular uh, uh, within lab lex programs we got this uh, command prompt here now i will use my uh, flex uh, command on this particular one dot l now if it is executed successfully i will get uh, lex dot yy dot c with the help of gcc compiler i will uh, execute that particular lex.yy.c if everything is fine i will get an executable uh, file here otherwise i will get an error in this case now you can see here there is a typo i think uh, while writing printf i have added one extra uh, t here so i'll just go back and then correct it and then i will save it again here and then uh, i will try to uh, create a c file with the help of flex command again and then uh, i will try to compile this particular lex c file with the help of gcc compiler now i will get that particular executable file in the form of a because it's a windows i have to use a.exe in this case if it is uh, ubuntu we have to write something called as uh, dot slash a dot out now if i enter uh, if i press enter button i will get this particular uh, the prompt where it is asking me to enter a string so i will enter something like this mahesh 10 if huddar and then i will enter 100 here and then uh, uh, you can say some other words like uh, nds and so on so now i will uh, press enter button here uh, if you see this particular thing it is displayed correctly that is uh, mahesh is a word 10 is a number if is a keyword Uddar is a word, 100 is a number, NDS is a word. But the only problem is it is not printed properly. So I should have added one new line character here. If I have added a new line character, I would have got a perfect output in this case. So one more time, if you want, I will show you here. I will press Ctrl Z and then enter button to come out of this one. I will create a C file with the help of flex. 
and then with the help of GCC I will compile this particular program and then I will execute this particular output file that is uh, A again I will enter some input and then enter button over here I hope you can see this one now we are getting the output perfectly fine that is uh, Mahesh is a word if is a keyword 10 is a number Udar is a word here and so on so this is how uh, we can write a very simple uh, a Lex program which can recognize and display the keywords, numbers, words and so on in a given statement. I hope you understood this particular program. If you have any other programs, put those particular questions in the comment box. I will try to answer them as well as possible. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.